Hi guys, it's Cornish Kayak Angler here. In today's video, I'm going to have a look at the setup and assembly of what has to be the most popular kayak and canoe trolley on the market, the Railblazer Sea Tug. It's a fantastic piece of kit, really useful for getting your kayak to and from the water. Works really well with just about every fishing kayak of all sizes and shapes as well as uh, all sit on top kayaks, touring kayaks, sea kayaks and Canadian canoes as well. Um, it's got to be the most recommended trolley as well when people are asking what trolley to get, the Railblazer Sea Tug pops up all the time. And whilst being just about the most popular trolley out there, when it comes to setting one up, a few people do stumble across a few problems, especially when it comes to setting up the straps. Now, it comes with really detailed instructions, but still a few people struggle. So what we're gonna do is have a little look at the full unboxing and assembly of this trolley in today's video. Okay, so let's start the assembly by opening the box and seeing what we've got inside. So, packed inside, we've got two hole pads. So this is what the kayak sits on. We have two cross beams, that's these sections here. Two wheels, and these are the standard sand hopper wheels. You can also get the sea tug with the sand tracks wheels, which go really well over soft sand, but this is just a standard sea tug. So it's got these sand hopper wheels, two of those a kickstand, the strap kit, and also the instructions and some leaflets. But we'll put the box and those to one side and we'll have a look at the full assembly here now. So we want to start taking the two cross beams and the kickstand. Now there's a hole in the center of the cross beam there's a small little receiving dent in there which matches up with the little plastic bit there on the kickstand. So we just place that through the hole in the crossbeam, locate that plastic piece into the receiving dent there. Then it's a case of taking these crossbeams and sort of crisscrossing them together and as you do so they sort of scissor together Let's just sort of see how that goes there so get them sort of lined up together and push down hard and they'll click into place to form the main body of the trolley so that's the two cross beams click together there and you can see the axles on the side where the wheels will go and then there's two sort of notches here or C parts here where the, the hole pads will sit. We'll pop those on next. So if we take one of the hole pads, take your frame, hold it sort of flat against the surface, hold the hole pad vertical, pop it into that sort of C notch. And as you put it in vertical, rotate it outwards. And as you do so, that hole pad will lock into place. That's solid there now but it still has movement to rotate. That's great because it will take to the shape of the hull on your kayak. So there's one, now we'll pop the second one on again. Let's place the hull pad in there vertically, rotate outwards, and it will be in place like so. And there you can see the hull pads attached to those cross beams. So that leaves the wheels to put on next. They're held in place with these little toggle pins here. So you sort of flip those out like so. And the wheel with the, the spokes facing outwards. You can see on the inside they're sort of uh, hollowed out. So you want the, the filled sides facing outwards. Pop those onto the axle. Pop the toggle pin and push down until you hear it click. Did you hear it there? Make sure it clicks. If you don't, it won't be locked in place and it will be loose to rattle around and you'll be trolleying your kayak, it will rattle free and your wheel will fall off. Not what you want, so be sure to hear the click. And we can do exactly the same with the other side. 
unlock the toggle pin, pop the wheel on, click. So there we have the main frame of the trolley assembled and the kickstand here, you can swivel that up and down and that will allow the trolley to stand upright. So that's the main frame assembled that just leaves the straps to assemble. Now the straps are what causes the most headache when it comes to assembling the trolley. Um, it probably takes the longest just to thread the, the straps into the, into the little uh, clips and uh, bits here, but I'll show you that next. It's dead easy once you know how. Okay, so I've just unpacked this strap kit from its small bag. Uh, you'll get one single strap with no attachments. It's just a length of webbing with a C-Tug logo emblazoned on it. So there's one of those, but there's also another one, but this time this one has a metal cam buckle, like so, fixed to one end. And again, the other end is just webbing all the way to the end there. And then you also get a couple of these ladder locks. And it's the threading of these, which is a little tricky to get your head round, but once they're threaded correctly, the straps will be solid, they won't be slipping anywhere. Uh, so that will ensure when you kayak's on the trolley, it won't be coming off. So let's have a look at how we attach the straps using these to attach them to the hole pads. So start with a ladder lock, take the curved side and this wants to be facing away from the hole pad and the way I do this is to take the, the side with the, the C-Tug logo on there, if you turn the ladder lock over you'll see there's a lot of little teeth on the front edge there leading to this curved edge. Now the first slot in there that is where you want to pass the strap from the underside where the teeth are to the top side so you just pull that through like so so you can see now the curved side and where the teeth are on the underside will engage with the strap on the logo side of the strap then take the other end of the webbing that you've just pulled through, place it through the back slot in the ladder lock, like so. So now the ladder lock's on there like so. So the next step is to take this end of the webbing strap with a C-Tug logo facing down, thread through the hole pad. So it's through that slot in the hole pad now, the ladder lock on the outside. Pull a bit through. Now this part is the part that a lot of people don't get. Well, this is the way I do it. I'm not sure exactly if this is how the instructions tell you to do it, but pull some excess away from your ladder lock on the loop on the top. Take your strap you've just pulled through the hole pad and you effectively got to go in reverse to what you've done a minute ago. So through the back slot, you can just see it coming through there. And it almost wants to follow the webbing around and come back through the front slot. It's a little fiddly to do. Back through the front slot in the ladder lock. So that's just come through like that. So if I just pull a little bit of excess, you can hopefully see how that goes there. So we've got the free end that you've just finished with on the inside loop and where you started on the outside loop and now if you pull it all tight it will form the down to the strap like so and it will be solid it will not slip so it's this end here now is taking the strain of the of the kayak on the trolley and when pulled tight against the ladder lock that will not slip there's no tension on this tag end here that's just the loose end so that's one side done 
just like so. And when it's wrapped around your kite, the C-Tug logo will be on the outside, so you'll be able to read that. And it's exactly the same for the other side, the side with the buckle. And I'll just thread that one on there now. So again, take the end of your strap with the C-Tug logo on the outside. From the bottom of the ladder lock, the where the teeth are, in the first slot, closest to the teeth, from the underside to the top and back down on the notch at the back, the slot at the back, pull a little bit of excess through, flip it over so the logo is on the downside, through the slot in the hole pad. Now pull some excess so you've got a gap in the in the webbing so there's space to pass this end back through in reverse through the ladder lock so it's gone through there pulled that through and then through the back slot and then you're going into the front slot where you put the foot it through the first time just pull a little bit through a couple of inches through of excess then as you pull down everything down become tight the strap which takes the strain of the against the kayak, engages with the teeth on that ladder lock, no slipping. Your kayak can now be strapped to that trolley as tight as you want, simply by passing the strap around your trolley, taking the buckle, the Sea Tug logo on the outside, from the bottom of the cam, uh, cam lock buckle there, from the bottom side to the top side, Pull through and you can pull hard until you, it's rock solid against your kayak and that will be it, it will be tight, no slipping, the trolley won't fall off as your trolley in your kayak. And that there is how you set up the Railblazer Sea Tug Kayak Trolley. So as easy as it was to assemble the Sea Tug, when it comes to taking it apart it's even easier, really quick and straightforward. Start with the hole pads, grab the hole pad, rotate it towards the center vertical. It will pop out of its little holder. Repeat with the other side. With the wheels, off the toggle locks, click them up and out, pop the wheel off. Now the frame, as it is, will fit in the hatch of most fishing kayaks and other kayaks that have an oval hatch. So as it is there in component form like so, that will fit in the hatch of most kayaks as long as it's got an oval hatch. But what you can do is if you've got a particularly small hatch, you can take this frame apart and to do so you just have to pull quite hard to pull the cross beams apart, they scissor apart and then that will fit in even quite small hatches. Now when it's in this component form here, with the cross beams apart, the largest part now are the wheels. They have a diameter of about 10 and a half inches. So as long as you've got at least that as a round hatch diameter, you should be able to fit the wheels inside and get the whole trolley in your kayak. So you can take it on the water with you. You don't have to go running it back to your vehicle. Uh, and then it's when you come back to land, it's there, ready to go in the hatch. You've just got to pull it out, reassemble it, which now is even easier because the straps are already assembled. You don't have to go messing around with those. So you start with a cross beam, pop that together, wheels on, make sure they click on the toggle pins, toggle locks, hole pads on hold vertical and rotate outwards like so and you're ready to go that's the sea tug assemble dead quick dead simple dead easy fantastic bit of kit and like i said will fit in the hatch of most kayaks as long as you've got an oval hatch or a round hatch of at least about 10 and a half inch diameter you'll be able to fit the sea tug inside your kayak So there we go, that's how to set up the Railblazer Sea Tug 
kayaking canoe trolley. It's a fantastic bit of kit, gotta be the most popular trolley out there on the market. It just works really well. It'll work with a wide range of hull shapes and sizes. Great for loads of fishing kayaks, uh, touring kayaks, sea kayaks, sit on top kayaks, you name it. If it's a kayak or a canoe, a sea tug will most likely work really well as a trolley for it. It's great for salt water and fresh water use. It's all ABS plastic construction. Any metal parts on it are 316 stainless. It will hold up to years and years of abuse. I've had one for or oh, about five or six years now and I'm sure it will last another five or six years. Great bit of kit. You can get hold of these at just about any kayak store out there. Uh, if you're in the UK, check out Cornwall Canoes. They're a stockist for the sea tug trolleys. As mentioned, this is the standard sea tug trolley with a standard sand hopper wheels. Great for going over all terrain. Uh, but if you're launching regularly off soft sand beaches, have a look at the Railblazer Sea Tug Sand Tracks Trolley. They have larger wheels uh, which compress under the weight of the kayak, spreads the load over soft sand and stops the trolley digging in so much. So great for those heavy fishing kayaks when you're doing the beach launches. For plenty more kayak fishing videos, hit subscribe. And for plenty more information on kayak fishing, check out my website, kayakfishing.blog. Thanks for watching.